Hi, and thanks for joining us today. We're going to be reviewing the parts of receiver in the ear style hearing aids. The device on the left has a standard disposable battery and the device on the right has a lithium ion rechargeable battery. And we'll begin with the disposable battery. For the receiver in the ear style, most of the electronics of the device are in this beige piece that fits behind the top part of the ear. There is a wired connection that runs down to the receiver box that sits inside the ear canal. Um, at the tip of the receiver box, there is typically either a little dome that is not customized to the patient's ear, although there are different sizes that that dome could be, um, or there could be a custom ear mold on the end of the receiver. If we look at the back part, the spine of the piece that fits behind the ear, that's where the microphone openings are located. On this particular device, you can see there are two openings. And below those, there is a toggle switch for um, either volume control or program change, depending on how your device is programmed by your audiologist. And down on the bottom or belly of the device, there is the battery door. There is a separate video about how to change batteries in this style, uh, but just briefly, there's a notch there that you can open with your finger or fingernail and the battery sits in the door itself. It acts like a little cup. And your battery contacts are on the inside of the body of the device. And anytime that battery door is closed, the device is on. If it's open, the device is turned off. There are some indicators on the device to tell you which ear is which. There is a colored marking on the receiver box. In this case, this one is red. Red indicates the devices for the right ear. And there should also be, either at the battery door or on the belly of the device, another marking that indicates which ear it's for. Again, RR, red for the right ear. If it's for the left ear, those markings will be blue instead. And we'll take a look now at the lithium ion battery style. Again, most of the electronics are in the piece that fits behind the top of the ear, and we have the wired connection down to the speaker box or receiver box that fits into the ear canal, and either a dome or custom ear mold that fits on the end of that speaker. Yours may look a bit different depending on the manufacturer you use, but here again on the spine of the device, we have two microphone openings for the sound to enter the hearing aid. And in between those microphone openings, this particular device has just a push button rather than that rocker switch. Um, again, it can be programmed for different functions depending on what you and your audiologist decide. There is no battery door on this style since the lithium ion battery is fully encased in the hearing aid casing. We do of course have a charger. If we flip that over, there is a mini USB port on the back of the charger to plug the power cord into. And if we open the top of the case, you'll see there are two ports, charging ports, one for each hearing aid. These are color coded, red for the right ear and blue for the left ear. Your charger may look a bit different. Again, depending on the manufacturer of the hearing aids that you're wearing, uh, we will do a separate video on how to charge your hearing aids and we'll show you some of the different charger styles. Essentially, you plug each hearing aid into its own charging port and the charger begins its work. And of course, if you have any questions about your particular hearing aid or need an in-person review of any of this information, please give the office a call and one of the audiologists will be happy to review that with you. Thanks and have a great day.